hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to paint some floral borders and i'm using 300 gsm watercolor sheet and today we are going to use uh, size 8 round brush i'm using only one brush to paint all the borders that we have today and uh, uh, today i'm going to use very uh, basic color to paint all the floral borders and it's quite simple so let's start with the first one so for the first one uh, with the tip of the brush we need to paint few petals like this four or five and then clean your brush and uh, just create one more layer of petals with the lighter shade so second layer we have to do with clean water so let's start and create these flowers alternate left and right side I'm using very big brush so that's why I'm using only tip of my brush to paint these small small petals so you can use a smaller brush as well if you don't have much control on your brush I like to use bigger brush because with the help of bigger brush you can paint bigger petals bigger leaves and smaller petals and smaller leaves as well so once done with the concentrated color just clean your brush and do one la one more layer of petals and then with the help of green color so i have used sap green and deep green mixed together and attach with the main stem now with the help of green color itself I'm going to create few leaves these are one stroke leaves and I'm creating group of three leaves in between two flowers so we just need to fill all the gaps that we have with the help of leaves you just need to apply a little pressure to create these kind of leaves it's quite simple I'm keeping flowers and leaves very simple for today's painting so that even beginners can paint these uh, floral borders easily once done with the help of yellow green color so I have used very hint of uh, green color into yellow so this is towards uh, yellow side more as compared to green and creating a very fine fine foliages uh, around leaves and flowers to make little variation in this border so I have created half and uh, half I have created for you already to save our time so likewise we have created our first border now let's start with the second border so for the second border I'm going to create a bunch of small small flowers like this so I'm using purple color uh, to, to create these flowers so alternately I'm going to create all uh, these uh, bunch of flowers so again I'm going to show you only half uh, of the uh, half of the border and then we're going to repeat the same process for half area with the help of green color attach all the flowers with the fine fine stems using tip of the brush you can use fine brush as well if you're not comfortable using bigger brush to create all these kind of detailing and attach all these flowers with the main stem I'm using mix of sap green and yellow 
you can use any shade of green whatever you like this time the leaf structure are also similar to the first one but i'm creating a group of leaves in a single stem so create one stem and then attach all the leaves together so we need to create this structure alternate between the flowers i am showing only half of the border you just need to repeat the same process for half of the area now to give little variation in the color i am adding blue leaves as well so leaves are same in structure you just need to apply little pressure in your brush to create this kind of structure but this time i'm using blue color and repeat the same process for rest of the area now let's move to the third one so for the third one we are going to create big big yellow flowers with five petals around it and ovary of the flowers with rose metal lake color this is spreading a little bit we are going to fix it later so apply a little pressure in your brush move your brush towards left and right to create petals like this as you can see three petals are smaller as compared to the other two to make a uh, difference in the perception of the flower so you can uh, give little variation in the flower petals to add little perception in your flower so i'm going to add four five more flowers here with the same technique you can also create half flowers like this now add ovary of the flower for all the flowers these floral borders are quite simple and you can utilize these uh, border in multiple places you can create beautiful greeting cards or you can create uh, uh stationeries all those kind of things now this time i'm adding a small small uh, leaves around uh, yellow flowers as you can see the leaf structure for all the three borders are quite similar but little variation in it so that you can create different kind of leaves together now i am adding small small uh, red flowers as well in between these yellow flowers after this we need to finish this painting with the help of green foliages so i'm going to attach thinner and uh, longer leaves of uh, yellow and green mix attaching to the smaller flowers and this is the last step we have to do for this border done with the third one as well now let's create the fourth one so for the fourth one i'm using red color 
these are the concentrated red color and with the help of clean water i'm adding multiple layers of petals to create carnation kind of flower here so i'm going to repeat this process for multiple other flowers as well so first you need to add concentrated color now clean your brush and add few more layers of petals do not forget to clean your brush because we need different shades of red in these kind of flowers these are small small carnation flower now attach stems around every flower based on their perception this time i'm keeping uh, this border very simple so i'm going to add very basic leaves around this border i think this is the simplest one and very beautiful so you just need to add longer longer leaves like this in different different direction and that is it that is what we want uh, to do in this last border that we have so all the four borders are quite simple and i have used only one brush to create all the four borders so i'm hoping uh, this video is even helpful for beginners as well If not if you have any query please do let me know in the comment section below and please do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for all your love and support and thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next video